wanted to share two little mini albums that I had made. Um, one I'm pretty much finished with, the other one I'm still going to add some little um, tags and maybe some embellishments on the inside. Well, this is the first one. This one, I got the idea from, um, oh man, I forgot her name. It's Tamika, and um, I forgot her YouTube name, but um, I'll put it in the description box, the description in the link below, if I can find the link of the actual um, video that she showed how to make this. But this is from a manila folder. So it's from two manila folders. I believe you have six um, pages, and it's four by six, if I'm not mistaken, the size of this mini. The papers I had used, um, it was a mixture of one, um, ones that I got from Webster's Pages. They were six by six sheets. So um, one was like a children's one, one was like a wedding one, and one was like a like vacation beach kind of theme. So th I think they all went pretty well together. I tried to group them together. But this is the cover. This is part of the paper. This whole paper from the paper collection. This was a sticker that I got um, from the Scrapbook Expo. And it says Cherish. And then I made some banners. And then this flower was also from Webster's Pages. Since I have a few of these and I'm trying to use them up. So that's the front. Then you open it. And then here's the other paper collection. This one's like from the wedding line. You really can't see it too much. But there's like a dress right there. Here's the other page with the chandelier. I love these colors. Very spring. And then this style. I think this one was called Boardwalk. I'm not sure. The dominoes. And this one with the flamingos. And the music notes. And that's it. Pretty simple. Um, great little gift. I'm going to try to make like a whole bunch of these. i got to get more manila folders. And um, I'm trying to make stuff to try to sell either on Etsy or um, which we'll call it on um, a craft fair probably towards like Christmas time so I'm trying to stash up stuff that I've made so that way it's not too stressful around that time so that is one and then this one's a really neat one it's called wallet a wallet mini I forgot her name I've been um, watching some of her videos um, but it, there's a tutorial on how to make this like I said in the description box if I find it I will write it in the description box and um, if I can link because I'm doing this through my phone so if I can link the video to the description then I will try and do so um, if not I will just leave her YouTube name and then the name of the video so you can look through and try to find it yourself all right so this one's pretty simple this is the one I still have to add stuff to um, this is called down the boardwalk from we are memory keepers this is the pack I have bought this last year from Tuesday morning and it's like a whole kit in a, in a little packaging pretty cool these are all the papers you get embellishments and cutouts and stickers and whatnot so um, it's pretty neat and I figured I have to start using this up because it's taking a lot of not a lot of room but it's taking some room in my little craft area so I'm trying to use up a lot of my papers so this is it it actually looks like a wallet which is pretty cool so you can use it to put in your purse or you know just to have around so it's, I have the cover saying life is a big beautiful beach and this is one of the stickers from the collection. I use some stickle, some diamond stickles on the tips of the bowl. So um, just to give it a little sparkle. And then I had cut a strip of paper on the top from the collection. This flower I had for my, my stash for a while. It's the Recollections Floral Embellishments. So that's what it is. And then some flat back pearls that was given to me from Natalia. So you open it like that, you have a photo mat here, you have a photo mat here, or you can do a little bit of journaling. And then you open this down this way, and here's another photo mat. And this one I did like a flip up like she did. And then you can do some journaling or photo mats. I might do um, another little mini photo mat on the top or the bottom, and then um, that way you can get an idea as to what if you want to put a little picture on here and then maybe another little journaling spot so I'm gonna do some more in this section and you flip it down and then here's another photo mat 
and you open it this way there's another one there I kept these the same of the papers and you flip it here so two photo mats and then you flip it again and it's another photo mat and then this one is a pocket so I'm gonna add some tags so stick it in there and here is just you know simple you could do whatever you want on that side here's another photo mat I love this paper it's so cute and then the same thing you flip it open another photo mat and then here's one of the little um, tags that they had in the collection and it says cruise with me into the sunset so I figured I would shove it in there add it to the to the book and then you flip it closed so it's pretty simple and it's really cute and then here's the back of it so um, I'm gonna try to make a whole bunch of these as well these are really excellent gifts actually yeah so and you can fit a decent amount the way she has it so you know it can be a little bit bulky and it's not too bad I'm gonna keep it like this but I want to um, get I know I have velcro strips I don't know if I wanted to do velcro or not on here or even a magnetic strip I have to get those and try that out since I never use it with magnets but that's my other little mini album and I also wanted to share I never had a chance to share it um, because I forgot about it but I had did like a Walmart um, haul and this I forgot to share that they sell as well this is um, which I've never seen in any, in, in any of the other stores that they sell gorgeous stamps or online it's large ribbon bows and this I think was about between two and three dollars I'm not sure this one I'm not sure but yeah it has a whole bunch of bows it has 12 pieces that goes with kind of like the collection it's already pre-made bows so I thought that was really neat so I'm definitely gonna try to make a card with the papers that I had purchased from walmart.com the gorgeous girls I'll show you again but this the decoupage like um 3d kind of you know paper set and I'm going to try to use the bows with it since it matches pretty well. The stripes and the polka dots, super cute. So yeah, so those are my mini albums. Like I said, I'll try to put it in the description box below as to what, um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot her name. But, um, yeah, I will, uh, her name's Tamika's her name. I just forgot one blank as to what her, um, her YouTube name is. But I'll put them in the description boxes below. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Take care.